Hi again. Uh, now I consider the next property of harmonic function. It is the uh, mean value theorem. mean value theory. So this uh, consider a harmonic function uh, delta u equals zero no, in some domain d. And consider a point x uh, in d internal point and consider a sphere uh, with the center of x and radius r. And uh, assume that all this sphere uh, all and uh, all this and this is ball of the center of x and radius r. Uh, that it is entirely in uh, side our domain d. So that the function is uh, uh, harmonic function inside this ball. Then the following is true. Uh, u of x at the point of x equals integral over uh, uh, a sphere of x and radius r. Uh, u of y d s y uh, divided by uh, the uh, area of the sphere. Uh, it is uh, integral over s x r d s y. Yeah. So the uh, function u of x satisfies uh, this. So it is the, uh, the uh, value of function as uh, in, uh, at the point x uh, is a mean value of the function u over the sphere of radius r for any, any r uh, such that uh, this ball completely inside d. No, for example, if D is the whole space, so this is simply for any R. Uh, otherwise, uh, no, for R not very large or sufficiently small. So this is uh, the theorem. Uh, uh, now I, I, I uh, recall that I have already uh, showed you this theorem. Let me prove it again. No, the proof is uh, the following. Uh, first of all, I uh, have to uh, restore here the Green's, uh, uh, Green's uh, formula. Um, integral over any domain d. Now, in this case, d is our ball b of x r uh, u delta uh, v minus v delta u dy x is the center so the uh, integration variable is y equals integral over s of x r uh, u dv d and y minus v du d and y d s y. Uh, so this is uh, the Green's uh, identity. Um, now. 
I want to uh, apply this to the following. So our function uh, u u of y uh, delta u uh, with respect to y equals zero. Identity equals zero. So it is harmonic function. And for v, I take uh, the uh, Fortunately, uh, if x is the center of this ball, so we can uh, freely have the uh, Green's function exactly uh, at this point. Uh, so v of x, uh, v of y equals what I would define k of x minus y minus uh, k uh, on the boundary uh, uh, which is written as following phi of model x minus y minus V of R. What is uh, uh, phi of R small equals uh, no depending on the dimension one over two pi logarithm R if n equals two and uh, uh, one of two minus n omega n r to the power n uh, 2 minus n if n more or equal than 3. So uh, uh, omega n is the uh, area of a unit sphere of, in the space rn. Yes? So uh, so this is our function phi of r. And so I write this. So uh, what we have uh, delta y, uh, delta v uh, of y. If you differentiate, we have already found that for function phi, it is uh, delta of x minus y, yes, and uh, this is a constant, so it's uh, Laplacian is zero. Uh, and uh, v uh, for uh, model y equals r equals, so uh, this is r and this is r, it is zero. Yeah, so we have uh, this property of the function v. And now let's apply uh, this um, uh, Green's identity uh, integral over b of x r uh, u Laplacian v minus v Laplacian u dy equals uh, Laplacian u is zero, Laplacian v is dated at the point x. Uh, so uh, it is u uh, integral uh, u of y delta x minus y dy over b of x r. Yeah? And uh, Laplacian u is zero from the very beginning. Uh, so this term is uh, absent. Equals simply u of x. Uh, the value of u at the right uh, at the center. Uh, integral over uh, s x r r capital uh, u dv u dv d and y minus v d u d n y d s y equals uh, 
equals um, u uh, integral s of x r uh, u of y and uh, what is this no uh, what we choose uh, for example let me do it for n equal to uh, 1 over 2 pi uh, what is uh, logarithm r uh, so it is 1 over r uh, and this term is 0 um, the derivative of this uh, 2 pi r uh, minus v and v on the boundary is 0 so this uh, second term uh, is 0 uh, now uh, dsy now in this case uh, our uh, ball uh, our uh, sphere is just circle uh, it is of radius r so let me write dly um, uh, n equal to uh, equals uh, 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 integral uh, s of x r u of y dy and uh, the length of the circle is 2 pr uh, which is uh, divided by uh, length of the circle integral uh, over the same s of x r dly yes and this is uh, the mean uh, value of u on s of x r oh. So this way uh, we proved it in two dimensions. In uh, uh, dimension n, uh, no, let us do it for completeness. Uh, uh, D, V, uh, n more or equal than 3. Uh, D, n, y. Uh, equals uh, 1 of uh, 2 minus n omega n r to the power 2 minus n times 2 minus n r uh, 2 minus n 1 minus n yeah r 1 minus n so d v uh, one moment for r equals r capital yes so it is uh, the derivative along the radius of this uh, sphere yes like this this is n y uh, derivative along the radius equals uh, one over omega n uh, r to the power 1 minus n yes and now uh, what we have we have uh, here uh, integral over s of x r uh, u dv dn y minus v du dn y 
dsy equals what uh, u integral of s of x r uh, u of y uh, times 1 over omega n r 1 minus n uh, d s y. Uh, the second term is 0 because uh, v on the boundary is 0. Uh, v is uh, this function. And uh, uh, let us note that the uh, omega n is the uh, is the area of uh, uh, ball of radius one. So uh, the area of the ball of radius r uh, s uh, x r. This area is equals uh, integral s of x r uh, d s y equals uh, 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 omega n times r to the power uh, n minus 1. So, uh, and therefore, what we have here equals integral s x r uh, u y d s y uh, divided by integral s x r d s y equals mean value of u of y on s of x r. So the proof is finished. Uh, we proved it. Uh, again, we used here singular function v, uh, but uh, again this function can be a bit modified it, and, and then we'll have uh, here approximate delta function and uh, we'll have approximate uh, identity and when we uh, tend uh, the size of modifier to zero uh, in the limit we have exact identity uh, so we can understand it in this way uh, so uh, this is a great Theorem, and now let us extract uh, further, uh, say, consequences from this theorem. of this property of mean value theorem. So mean value theorem says the following that if delta u is zero then ux equals uh, integral over s of x with radius r u of y dsy 
divided by, let me write it, modul S of XR, where this is modul S of XR equals uh, integral over S of XR dS, the area of S of XR. Now we can even write it uh, modul S of XR equals omega n r to the power n minus 1. Omega n is the area of unit uh, sphere of radius 1 and uh, it is scales like r to the power n minus 1. Now you can check it for a, a, a circle in the plane, for example, yourself. So, uh, uh, it is a uh, uh, mean value, u of x, the point x, uh, is a mean value of uh, the values of u on the sphere of radius r. So we have to integrate it over the sphere, divided by the area of the sphere. It is the average of uh, on the sphere. So uh, value of uh, harmonic function at the center of a sphere is uh, the uh, average of uh, this same function on the sphere. This holds true for all r. And now, if it is true for any r, so uh, it is, uh, uh, let us, uh, for each of these spheres, uh, uh, the, uh, the average over the sphere uh, of the function is equal to value of the function the point x. So it is natural to integrate this and find, say, the average over the ball. Or uh, let me do it more consistently and more general. Suppose we have uh, some function phi of r. Yes? And then uh, we want to uh, evaluate uh, integral phi of modul x minus y, u of y, dy. Integral, uh, now, the function phi of r uh, looks uh, something like this. So uh, it is zero uh, for sufficiently large r. So uh, uh, it is some r capital. Integral uh, for um, b x r capital. Uh, how to evaluate uh, this integral? Uh, we can uh, say uh, separate the variable, the radial variable and the spherical variable. So uh, we can write, uh, in, uh, let me write the general formula. Integral for over Rn uh, f of y dy equals integral first radius from uh, 0 to infinity uh, and then integral over s of x r f of y ds y and then all this dr yes uh, so if you look at this formula uh, you can maybe feel uh, some uneasiness because it looks different from the formula of, of for 
integration in polar coordinates. Uh, so the difference is uh, in the polar coordinates we have this angle, say theta, uh, uh, or let me say d theta. Uh, angle is theta. Uh, this is r and uh, dy, uh, the element of area, equals r dr d theta, if you remember this formula. So, integral f uh, of y dy equals integral uh, from 0 to infinity, uh, integral uh, over uh, S1, uh, so integral from 0 to 2 pi, um, F R theta, R dr d theta. Yes, uh, so uh, we have uh, this, uh, but here integral from 0 to infinity, so what we do, we uh, project uh, each sphere, it is x, of xr. Project this sphere on the unit sphere, yes, uh, no, in the uh, uh, two-dimensional case, the unit sphere is just a circle of radius one, yes, and uh, if you project you have this, but if you do not try to project, then you have this formula, uh, this is, uh, uh, and you see that uh, depending on radius, the contribution of this integral will be different because uh, here uh, if say the function f equals 1 uh, then this is just the area of the sphere so the area depends on radius uh, radius to the power n minus 1 uh, so uh, no don't worry it is the correct formula so uh, let us return to this uh, integral, integral of e of x minus 1 equals integral from uh, 0 to infinity uh, uh, or, okay, 0 to r uh, integral uh, over s of x r uh, phi of r uh, u of y uh, y point in s uh, d s y d r equals let us write uh, what it is, uh, integral from 0 to r capital. Uh, uh, phi of r is, uh, depends on r only, so let me write here phi of r. Uh, now, um, uh, integral uh, s of x r u of y d s y d r let me move here equals, I move from here to here. Uh, so uh, this is already something uh, something uh, familiar, integral of sphere. So we have to divide it by the area of the sphere uh, and then multiply here. So uh, let me write here, integral from 0 to r capital, uh, phi of r, uh, Modul S of X R, it is the area, times um, integral uh, uh, over uh, 
s of x r uh, u of y d s y divided by uh, the area of the sphere s x r yes uh, dr okay and now this is the average of the function u on the sphere equals integral from 0 to r uh, phi of r modul s of x r area times u of x dr now let me write it u of x integral from 0 to r phi of r uh, s of x r dr and what is this? this is uh, equals uh, u of x and this is simply uh, from this formula uh, follows that it is uh, uh, integral over uh, no, okay, uh, B of X R, uh, R capital, uh, phi of model X minus Y, D Y. Uh, no, phi was a function uh, which is zero outside some compact set, some ball. Uh, simply, it is U X integral uh, over rn phi uh, of uh, model x minus y dy and now uh, let us take uh, uh, as a function phi uh, uh, such a function uh, that its uh, integral is 1 so it is the standard modifier so which uh, so, if integral phi of y dy over rn equals 1, then uh, uh, u of x equals integral uh, u of y phi of uh, distance between x minus y uh, simply x minus y because this function depends only on the distance uh, dy that's it so this is uh, the desired theory now in particular uh, uh, the function uh, it is true even if function is uh, no say just piecewise uh, piecewise uh, 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 continuous it's also true so for example we can have The following: uh, uh, If Laplacian u is zero, then uh, u of x equals integral of over the ball of x r uh, u of y dy. It is the ball. Uh, because uh, for the ball, uh, the function phi is uh, 1 here and 0 here. It is phi of modul x. Yes? Uh, no, but uh, we have to divide the volume of the ball. XR. No, uh, which you can find easily. Uh, no, uh, volume of the ball. Uh, uh, 
so model B uh, of XR equals uh, 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 um, omega n divided by uh, n r to the power n. Omega n is the area of the sphere. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, we have uh, this mean value, uh, but uh, uh, it is uh, one of uh, uh, infinitely many versions for the choice of function phi. Uh, so let us consider the function phi which we have already uh, constructed. Uh, this standard function phi, uh, phi of uh, x equal, uh, depends on model x, uh, such that uh, it is uh, simply symmetric, uh, phi in C infinity, uh, phi of x is zero for model x more than one, and the integral uh, over Rn, phi of n dx equals 1. So it is the standard modifier. Now uh, we can also uh, rescale it. And write phi epsilon of x equals 1 over epsilon to the n phi of x divided by epsilon. Yes, in uh, this uh, uh, rescaling which preserves this property, uh, integral equals 1. And uh, um, uh, we have uh, the following thing. So uh, u of x, if Laplacian u equals 0, uh, equals integral over Rn uh, phi epsilon of x minus y u of y dy. And uh, where it is true, uh, if our function is uh, harmonic function uh, which is harmonic inside some domain D, then uh, to this to make sense, uh, if you have a point X and uh, the ball of radius epsilon, so outside this ball this function is zero, uh, the ball of radius epsilon, yeah? Uh, and if this ball uh, does not touch the boundary gun and does not uh, intersect it, yes, if it is uh, entirely inside uh, gamma, inside the domain D, then uh, this uh, holds true because we don't need anything outside this. We need only that the function is inside uh, harmonic inside this ball uh, to. Uh, this uh, quality uh, be true. So uh, we uh, this uh, uh, equality makes sense and is uh, true uh, uh, if the distance from x uh, this is true if the distance from x to gamma is more than epsilon. No, um, uh, okay, so uh, inside uh, this uh, uh, domain, smaller domain, uh, which is abstains from the distance, uh, from the boundary more than epsilon, uh, this holds true, and uh, at the same time it makes sense only here, and is true uh, here. And uh, uh, now the first thing, uh, if u of x is 
uh, harmonic function uh, 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 so this function should be no uh, c2 uh, but uh, if you consider this function then this function uh, uh, u epsilon of x equals integral uh, phi epsilon of uh, x minus y u of y dy uh, u epsilon is c infinity because phi epsilon is in c infinity yes uh, we have already proved it uh, no, just um, yes, uh, because if you differentiate this function, you have to differentiate function here, and the differentiation with respect to x. So only uh, only this function is uh, differentiated, and phi epsilon is a function a C infinity function. Yes. So we can differentiate uh, this function infinitely many times and the uh, responding integral uh, will make sense and uh, uh, converges and everything uh, holds true. So every time we have it uh, uh, enough that the function u were continuous. Yes. So uh, the first thing which we have uh, and it is rather uh, surprising is that any harmonic function is automatically smooth. It has uh, infinitely many time differentiable. Uh, it is uh, uh, the thing which uh, mm, is quite different from uh, what happened uh, in the string equation. In string equation we had uh, uh, solutions uh, which were, uh, were uh, no say just uh, C2 or even a weak solution in C1. Uh, a continuous solution uh, uh, and even discontinuous and here nothing like this happens the function u uh, if it is minimally regular to uh, uh, this uh, 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 to be uh, uh, to make sense to say that this is a harmonic function then it is automatically c infinity in fact it is even uh, uh, analytic function. No, uh, I will uh, consider this a little, uh, a little, little later. Uh, so even more uh, regular than simply C infinity. Uh, that is, uh, that's it. This is the first uh, uh, important thing. Uh, now uh, let us uh, consider another. Uh, property. No, it is a sort of inverse property. Uh, so suppose, I'm sorry, I'll take another pen. Uh, you of x is just continuous function and uh, u of x equals integral of s x r uh, u of y dy divided by uh, the area of s of x r yeah? Is it true, uh, I'm sorry, uh, for any r, any radius, uh, uh, such that, uh, no, uh, uh, no, for, okay, uh, less than r0, for example, in some domain. Uh, is it true? that uh, u 
uh, that uh, Laplacian, uh, uh, Laplacian u equals zero. In particular, is it true that this function is smooth? So uh, this property of mean value theorem, uh, this property uh, uh, that mean value of the function uh, on each sphere is equal to its value at the center of the sphere, this property uh, it does not require that the function is differentiable. It is uh, enough that the function is just continuous. Uh, so, uh, interesting question. Uh, we have a continuous function having this mean value property. Is it true that this function is, um, uh, is uh, 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 a harmonic function? No, first thing. Uh, we know that uh, if, uh, let me call uh, mean value property, let me call it uh, property Tm. Yeah, mean value property uh, is this. Property M says that uh, for every x in our domain U of x is mean value uh, over uh, any um, over any uh, uh, sphere uh, no, of, uh, no, of not very large radius, because for large radius the sphere can get out of domain where we consider our function. Uh, and so, uh, theorem, if u of x is a continuous function and satisfies property M, mean value property, then U in C infinity and delta U equals zero. So it is an uh, inverse theory. Uh, so how to uh, prove? Now, first of all, we can apply the same reasoning as before. If it is uh, uh, true for any not so large sphere, the center of point, uh, any point X in our domain, then uh, uh, we can uh, write, uh, integrate over the sphere and has uh, that um, uh, uh, so uh, for some uh, positive epsilon uh, u of x is equal to integral phi epsilon of x minus y u of y dy. Yes? No, at least it is locally, uh, at least we can move uh, this uh, 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 with the same epsilon in some domain. So uh, the concern is that we should not uh, approach the boundary uh, of domain. So if uh, you have a point, let me write. If say this is our domain D, uh, and we have point X, which is at some distance, say R, from the boundary gamma, then uh, we can uh, uh, say uh, uh, take uh, epsilon equals say R over two, and uh, it is like this, and the, uh, uh, we can take nearby points uh, and uh, the balls of radius epsilon with uh, the center that nearby balls still do not touch the boundary, yes? So uh, in uh, somewhere inside uh, uh, a ball of radius epsilon, 
uh, or r over 2, uh, every point can be uh, encircled by a sphere of radius epsilon and uh, it will not reach the boundary. And so we can take this uh, epsilon uh, and write this function, uh, uh, this function uh, phi epsilon, u epsilon. Uh, u epsilon and u epsilon will be well defined near point x. Uh, if uh, uh, point x, uh, consider the closer point to the boundary, then just take a smaller epsilon and again we will find a small piece, uh, a small, uh, say, ball where this uh, uh, u epsilon is well defined. And um, uh, I have already proved uh, that if the function has this property m uh, with respect to the balls, uh, to the spheres, then it has uh, the property that uh, u epsilon of x equals u of x, where u epsilon is defined. No, I explained. It, it is defined uh, if you are uh, farther than epsilon from the boundary and uh, is not defined if you are too close to, to the boundary. Here is what we uh, are, should be cautious of. Uh, okay, so we uh, have uh, u epsilon. Uh, this means uh, u epsilon of x uh, is a uh, uh, infinitely uh, many times differentiable function. It is infinitely small function. No, it is uh, enough uh, for it to be, say, uh, three times differentiable. And uh, so we have proved already the first part of the theorem uh, that u is in C infinity. Now, how to prove that the function u is um, uh, that function u is uh, 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 harmonic function. Now, uh, let me uh, consider a case um, n equal to uh, no, simply because uh, uh, it is the proof is the same, but uh, the writing is shorter. So consider the uh, point X, say, in the plane. Uh, and um, uh, U of Y, uh, so uh, here uh, in the plane we have a Taylor expansion, Taylor, a Taylor formula. This means that U of Y uh, equals u of y1 y2 equals u of x1 x2 plus uh, u x uh, uh, u uh, derivative with respect to x1 uh, at the point x uh, times uh, y1 minus x1 plus u uh, with respect to x2 at the point x times y2 minus x2 plus 1 half uh, u x1 x1 at the point x times y1 minus x1 square plus uh, u x1 x2 at the point x y1 minus x1 y2 minus x2 plus one half u x2 x2 at the point x y2 minus x2 minus square Plus, uh, if the function is uh, three times differentiable, uh, let me write explicitly all 
uh, of model x1 uh, y1 minus x1 cube plus model y2 minus x2 cube yes uh, so the remainder term uh, it is not zero but it is of the third order uh, uh, so it is uh, the uh, uh, the Taylor formula in the plane. I hope you uh, know it. And now let us find uh, uh, integral over uh, S of x r uh, u of y ds y. No. Uh, uh, It is, in fact, integral along uh, the circle of radius r. Uh, integral uh, u x1 x2, it is x, and here it is y, uh, u of x, uh, it is a constant. So integral equals uh, length of this curve times this constant. Uh, it is so modern uh, s of x r times u of x. It is this. Now uh, let us consider this. u of x1, it is linear function. We have to integrate linear function along this sphere. Uh, linear function is odd function. Yeah? So uh, mm, uh, this linear function it is odd function. Uh, 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 let us uh, write is u of x plus uh, uh, say uh, uh, b times y minus x plus a uh, y uh, a capital. Uh, uh, minus x dot y minus x uh, plus o model y minus x cube. Yes? So we have uh, this is a linear function uh, and uh, b of uh, minus z equals uh, minus b of z z equals y minus x. Uh, this means uh, th this is a odd function. Its integral is zero. Yes? So integral over s x r b of uh, uh, z ds z equals zero. Uh, now consider uh, here the terms. Uh, this term uh, u x x y one minus x one square. So it is quadratic function. It is uh, the square of the first coordinate. So its integral is not zero. So let me write integral for s uh, x r. Uh, y 1 minus x1 square ds uh, y uh, let us deno uh, denote this uh, by some uh, letters say uh, alpha yeah and so uh, this is alpha times uh, the second derivative one half second derivative now integral s of uh, uh, just a minute, uh, consider function uh, x1 minus y1, x2 minus y2, and integral s of xr dsy. Uh, 
just look, this function is uh, when you change uh, this uh, first uh, by uh, 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 inverse sign of this. So instead of this point, we go to this point. Yes. Uh, so uh, 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 x uh, uh, y one y two uh, goes to uh, how it is. Uh, to uh, x minus y1, y2. It is uh, this uh, uh, symmetry with respect to x, uh, to this uh, axis x2 equal uh, x1 equal 0. Uh, then uh, uh, this changes sign and it does not change sign. So this function is odd with respect to this plane. Uh, and this means that this is zero. And so uh, the result uh, is the following. One moment. integral of s of x r of what uh, u of y ds y equals uh, integral s of x r uh, r capital uh, one half u x1 x1 at the point x uh, times x uh, y1 minus x1 square plus one half u x2 x2 the point x y2 minus x2 square plus o model y minus x cube and all other terms here uh, uh, u of x plus yes we have to don't forget this uh, one moment I have to find some eraser. Equals you uh, uh, model S of X R uh, times. Uh, uh, u of x plus one half u x one x one times alpha uh, integral of quadratic function along this sphere. It is uh, scales like. Uh, x1. Yes, uh, so it is uh, for the unit square. And it scales uh, like r to the power uh, 2 plus n minus 1. Uh, because in the n-dimensional space, uh, because uh, here uh, uh, this function is quadratic, so from here it's 2. n minus 1 is the uh, area of this sphere. Um, plus, now, uh, how to integrate this? 
the area of the sphere is as uh, uh, like r uh, to the power n minus 1 and here it is again r cube uh, plus uh, uh, no, uh, one moment uh, plus one half u x uh, two uh, x one x one x two x two alpha r uh, n uh, two plus n minus one uh, it is uh, n plus one. Uh, plus uh, of this uh, it is uh, O of R uh, N minus 1 plus 3 N plus 2 yes equals um, uh, okay we are in the plane I'm sorry uh, so uh, it is 2 uh, plus 1, uh, 1. Uh, it is 2 plus 1, 3. And uh, it is uh, 2 plus 2. Uh, equals, in short, 1 half delta u of x the sum of second derivative uh, times alpha times uh, r cube plus o of r uh, four yes uh, and now observe uh, consider when r uh, goes to zero. Uh, so we have uh, one moment. plus uh, uh, so if you divide it by uh, s of x r which is uh, in this case uh, propor proportional to r so we have uh, u of x equal um, 1 over uh, s of x r integral s of x r u y d s y equals u of x plus uh, so we divide it it is like r uh, 1 of 2 pi r Uh, alpha delta u of x uh, times one half uh, delta u of alpha r cube plus o of r four equals u of x plus uh, 1 I, uh, alpha 4 pi uh, delta u of x r square plus o of r cube yes 
And now let us uh, consider this uh, uh, function. So if uh, here alpha positive, so if uh, delta u is different from zero, then uh, this term uh, 1 over model S of X R uh, U of Y D S Y minus U of X equals alpha uh, 4 pi delta U of X R square plus O of R cube. So it is the function uh, which uh, goes to zero as uh, R square, but with this coefficient which is po uh, non-zero. Yes? So it looks like this. Uh, and this term goes to zero faster than R square, like R cube. So uh, this means uh, uh, that um, and it is non-zero for R small. No, smaller, uh, sufficiently small, it, is, uh, it goes to zero, but it is not zero. But uh, our uh, assumption was that this thing is, uh, this uh, mean value is exactly equal to u of x. Yes? So it should be zero. Uh, this remainder should be zero and it is not zero because uh, of this term. This term is uh, not zero and this term goes to zero faster than this term. Uh, so, this means uh, that we have a contradiction. Uh, by uh, the uh, condition by the assumption uh, u of x equals integral uh, for uh, along s x r u of y ds y divided by model s of x r and uh, we found that if delta u of x different from zero, then I'm sorry. u of x, this mean value minus u of x, is not zero for all sufficiently small r. Hence, delta u of x equals zero. Yeah. And uh, this holds for all x uh, uh, in our domain. Because our, uh, our assumption was that uh, it is true for all x 
in domain D. That's it. No, uh, it's in uh, this uh, theorem, uh, uh, which I told you is uh, very classical, uh, but uh, there was a recent uh, uh, development of this, you know, about uh, maybe 15 years ago. Uh, what happens if our function is not uh, continuous? Yeah? Uh, no, it's not continuous. Uh, is it possible that then this inverse theorem is not true? And what happens if, uh, for example, uh, we require uh, that uh, uh, this radius of the circle uh, is not arbitrary radius, uh, but uh, for each point x we have some circle uh, or sphere around this uh, point, uh, such that uh, the mean value of this circle is uh, the value of the function at this point, but uh, maybe uh, not for all radius, but for some radius. And so on. It turned out that uh, uh, if you weaken conditions of this theorem, uh, since uh, there is some point that after it the theorem is wrong. So uh, there, is, uh, uh, there exist functions which uh, are uh, discontinuous, uh, uh, which satisfy this condition, have this property M, mean value property, uh, but nonetheless are not harmonic. Uh, so uh, here we uh, reach, not uh, myself, but my colleague reached uh, more or less the threshold, uh, uh, the minimal conditions for this theory. No, uh, this is, uh, this is <coughs> <coughs> maybe uh, not from this course. Okay, uh, and uh, okay, uh, uh, there are uh, the next uh, uh, implications of this uh, theorem, which I consider in the next lecture. For now, uh, let me finish. I think you are exhausted. Uh, so have a good time. Bye.